I just think it's absolutely ridiculous as women how we've advocated to work. I think it's stupid. I do. I think we did a dumb thing. <laughs> I think collectively we did something dumb. <laughs> oh my gosh, like no. Just let me live in my imaginary world, cook you food, and work out. Maybe raise a kid or two and leave me alone. Ain't nobody trying to like do the extra. We did too much. <laughs> did too much. And it's just dumb. <laughs> Well, I mean, she's laughing, but the thing is, is that she probably was having a lot of fun 10 years ago doing that. You see, the thing is, is that women are not built to carry the weight of the world. That's why women don't have big shoulders and broad shoulders like men. That's a man's job. But women have been sold this idea that they need to be just like men. They need to be independent. They need to have as much money as men. They need to do all these things that men do. And they don't understand that that just prices them out of the complete um, dating market. Men don't want to deal with that. Men don't want to deal with women that are set in their ways. And a lot of times for these women, what it takes for these women to achieve this success is a, is a high form of masculinity. And a lot of times when these women come home, I should say most times, they can't control it. They can't turn it off. It's part of who they are. And it's only until they get to a certain age where they realize I don't have any children or I might have some baby daddies and I'm not in a relationship with them or something like that. I, you know, I don't have no children. I'm lonely. All my friends are married blah, 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 blah. And then it changes to a regret. Oh, I wish you wouldn't have done this. I wish you wouldn't have done that. Well, it's too late for a lot of you ladies. A lot of you have crashed through the wall and you're on the other side and your options and your pickings are slim to none. You damn sure can't get the guy that you could have got when you was 22 at 32 and 42 and 52. It don't work like that. That's why I always say that women need to learn to have their own independent thought process and stop thinking that just because a woman is telling them to do something that they have their best interests at heart because usually they don't. And for all you people that don't understand this whole feminist thing, first of all, if you go back to the true history of it, I'm not talking about the 60s and 70s. If you go back to the true history of it, it was about equality for real, right? And the men actually had a had a big part some men had a big part in setting that up and making that a reality so it was about equality women just wanted to have this you know, be able to vote and do the same type of things right as time has gone on it's just been skewed and it's been twisted and it's been leveraged for for certain type of um political agendas or whatever you want to call them and now you have a whole bunch of women that are out here acting like men that are unhappy and lonely, very lonely. Some of them don't even have children. Some of them were married and they believe this narrative that if you're not happy 100% of the time, then it's time to get a divorce because there's more pickings out there. You're a beautiful woman. You're beautiful at 40. You'll be able to find someone that's great for you that's going to accept you and want you and want your kids and all that. And it's all a lie. It's not true at all. A lot of women throw away relationships that they should have never thrown away. All because they're not happy. As if being in a relationship or a marriage is all about happiness. That is a fantasy. There's no married couple that's been married even for 50, 60 years that will sit there and tell you that every single day and every single year they were happy. It doesn't work like that. But this is the narrative that women have been convinced to believe. And it's only when they get to a point where they have all this regret that they have like this super clarity. Like, wait a minute, that was too much. Now I don't want to do that. Because you know what, ladies? You will never be able to escape your biological needs. You will never be able to escape that yearning to nurture something, to be with someone. Even in general, as human beings, we are not meant to be alone. That is not what our higher power put us here uh, on earth to do, is to be alone and independent. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.